Hi, this is Lawrence from Materialize Belgium. In this tutorial video, we'll talk about viewing files in Magix. With a good viewing practice, you'll be able to display the details on your part and inspect your part for errors and artifacts on the inside. Before we start, please remember that these viewing options change your point of view, but the coordinates and the orientation of your part will remain the same. If you would like to change the coordinates or the orientation, you can use the translate and rotate tools from the tools ribbon respectively. So let's see how we can view our parts in Magix. First, panning. You can pan your view by holding down your scroll wheel and moving your mouse around. Next we have rotation. You can rotate your part by right-clicking your mouse, right mouse button and moving your mouse around. You might notice a circle showing up when I try to rotate parts. This circle defines a 2D and 3D rotation regions. If you right-click inside the circle, you'll rotate your view in 3D. If you right-click outside the circle, you'll be rotating in 2D instead. Your view will be rotated regardless of the position of your parts. If I pan my part to the side like this, I will still need to click inside the circle to rotate my view in 3D. To zoom into your part, you can do so by scrolling up on the scroll wheel button, and by scrolling down, you'll be zooming out instead. Sometimes you'll need a more precise view orientation. In that case, you can try one of the following options. With the cube at the left bottom of the workspace, we can easily change our view. If we right click on the corner next to the cube, we will have the opportunity to select different eyes of views and immediately change our perspective. Another option we have available here in the same ribbon is the use of the Indicate View Orientation button. With the Indicate View Orientation button, this will run a function that will reorientate your view so that the triangle you click on will be positioned parallel to your screen. Your part will not be rotated in space and its coordinates will not change. You can also use different visualization modes. Under the view ribbon, you also have the option to change the visualization of your part. We have some different options here, such as for instance, the shade visualization, the triangular view, the bounding box view, a combination between the shade view and the wireframe, and with most of these options, we also have the, cho the choice to toggle on or off our transparency so we can see what's happening on the inside of our part. Talking about looking on the inside of our part, there are multiple ways of doing that. Another option we have available here is the use of a multi-section. If we navigate to the multi-section page, we can see that we can enable some cross-sections on our part here. We can make a combination between one or multiple dimensions. And we have the option to choose to hide one side of the part towards the section or going away from the section. And we can even make a combination in multiple dimensions so that we can hide multiple areas of the part at once. On top of that, we have the option to define our own dimensions. Or we can make use of the Indicate button to choose specifically where we want to position our cross-section. Another option we have available to look on the inside of our part is by making use of our marking tools. For a detailed explanation on the marking tools, please watch our video on marking. You can use your favorite marking option to mark some triangles, and then you can choose the option Hide Marked to hide the marked triangles. If you want to reverse the triangles which are being shown and which ones are hidden, you can make use of the option available here in the main ribbon to invert your triangle visibility. Or if you want to make everything visible again, you can choose the same option here to make everything visible. Thank you for watching this tutorial and make sure to check out our other tutorial videos as well. For further questions about our software, 
please don't hesitate to contact the support line of your nearest materialized office.